What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the kind of weird lighting right now. I am standing in our kitchen over the sink and there is a horrible uh, rotten egg sulfur smell coming from the water. So we are on well water out here, as you can imagine. Um, and from the first time that we walked through the house and we turned the water on, we thought, okay, that's not a good smell, but we thought, well, it's just, it hasn't been maintained in so long. It hasn't been run in so long. Maybe after we run the water some, it'll be better, but it's not. We've been out here almost every day working on things, getting things ready to move in and the smell just continues. So my husband uh, is an irrigator, so he's pretty knowledgeable about water stuff. And he did some research and found that if the smell is more pronounced when when we turn on the hot water versus when we turn on the cold water, um, then it's probably an issue with the water heater. And I smell it equally with the hot and the cold, but everybody else in the family is like, no, it's worse on the hot side. So um, we'll see. Um, I guess it would be better if it's something from the water heater versus something inside of the well, like, something, an animal or something else that needed to be cleaned out or needing to shock the well. I don't know if that's a thing, but I guess it would be better if it's the, the, uh, water heater. Um, and then also the kids said that the water faucets that are out along the property line, um, the water doesn't smell coming out of those. And those are tapped directly into the well. They're not coming through the water softener or the heater. Sorry, the baby's in the background playing with a water bottle. Uh, they don't come through the water heater or the softener. So I think that um, if that water doesn't smell, then it probably is a good sign that, uh, that it is something with the water heater. So I'm gonna walk down there and check it out, see what that water smells like. So we're gonna go out to one of the little faucets that come straight from the well and see what that smells like. If I can turn it. I don't know, it smells metallic, but it doesn't smell sulfuric. Yeah, I don't think that's... What? What? Quite the dog crew we've got going on here. <laughs> Are you happy, Poodle? Are you happy? So because the smell is only coming from the faucets that are inside that go through the hot water heater and the water softener um, and not coming from the faucets that are directly tapped into the well outside, my husband was able to figure out the reason for the sulfur smell is uh, something called the anode rod that's inside of the water heater. So there's some kind of chemical reaction um, the anode rod, the purpose of that rod is to attract corrosive materials or molecules so that the rod will corrode, but the tank itself won't corrode. And then there's some kind of chemical reaction where the rod that's made of aluminum mixes with something that's naturally found in well water, and then it creates that sulfur smell. So the solution for making the sulfur smell go away is to get into the water heater, take the anode rod out and replace it. Um, there's some kind of alternate rod that we're gonna use that's not made of aluminum. Um, it has to have a charge to it, so I'm not positive how all of that's gonna work yet. That's way above my head, but that is hopefully the solution to getting the sulfur smell to go away. Um, it's pretty bad. It's not dangerous as we understand, but um, I mean, we're not drinking the well water anyway, but it's just so overwhelming the sulfur smell is that you wouldn't wanna take a bath in it. You wouldn't wanna shower in it. I've washed a few dishes in it and then somebody walks inside the house and is like, oh, it smells like rotten eggs or like farts is what my kids say. So we wanna get that smell to go away as soon as possible. So that's what we're gonna be doing is working on uh, replacing the anode rod in the hot water heater. 